here today with a very important message for you. You are magnificent. Yes, you are. Now, there may be parts of you that have reasons why you couldn't believe that. There may be parts of you that have reasons why you shouldn't believe that. But I'm here to tell you that your allowing yourself to believe that can provide amazing good, not only for you, but for the world at large. So I'm here to help you believe that truth about you. Now, in this tapping, I'm going to use the G word. So, when I say God, if that's uncomfortable or doesn't quite feel right for you, feel free to substitute either in words or in thought. Source, creator, universe, whatever feels right for you. I'm not here to tell you who God is. I'm here to tell you who you are. So, with that being said, again, remembering that if you choose to do the tapping, uh, it could bring up emotions that might be uncomfortable. I don't know where you're at at this moment, so uh, if you choose to tap along, uh, you must do so taking full responsibility for your own well-being. And with that being said, no matter how hard it is, just say the words that I'm saying. This is your daily validation. <clears throat> I am magnificent. And I choose to love and accept myself. I am magnificent. And I choose to love and forgive myself. I am magnificent. And there may be reasons why I think I couldn't or shouldn't say that. But I choose to do as much good as I can and it sure helps when I acknowledge that I am magnificent. And I am magnificent. And I choose to deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and anyone else in my life because I'm so magnificent that I can do so. I am magnificent. I am magnificent. I am magnificent. I'm a magnificent child of God. And I am worthy and deserving of love and respect. I choose to give that to myself. I choose to love and respect myself. And why shouldn't I? And maybe I have some answers for that. And I choose to clear them. Releasing all these reasons why I couldn't or shouldn't love myself, why I couldn't or shouldn't respect myself, why I couldn't or shouldn't think of myself as a magnificent child of God. But aren't I supposed to be humble? If I say I'm being magnificent, isn't that conceited? Or in fact, isn't that one of the greatest ways to honor my Creator? What does God really want to hear? I'm sorry, God. Apparently, you screwed up with me. Because I'm not so great. Or doesn't it honor God more to say that I am magnificent? 
Nice job, creator. You done good. And the more I recognize my magnificence, the more good I can do. The more good I want to do. My playing small doesn't serve the world. Part of me thinks that to be a really good person I should think less of myself. I should think less of what I have to offer. That I'm not good enough. That what I have to offer isn't good enough. And yet I'm grateful for all those magnificent people who didn't feel that way. Thank God for Gandhi, for Mozart, for Da Vinci, for Martin Luther King Jr., for David Bowie, for all these people who shared their magnificence. I choose to share my magnificence. I am who I am by God's grace. And I choose to use that grace to great effect. I am magnificent. And the more I see my magnificence, the more I acknowledge it, the more I see it in other people. When I really acknowledge my magnificence, when I really love myself, I can't do harm to other people. I see their magnificence. I see them with love. Maybe people in my life have told me I wasn't magnificent. Maybe they've called me some other things. Maybe part of me believed them. And I'm clearing that. Clearing it at a cellular level. People said the earth was flat. But they were wrong. Same with the people. Who said I wasn't magnificent. The earth is round. And I am magnificent. I choose to know that. I choose to feel it. I choose to share it. For the highest good of all concerned. Take a deep breath. <sighs> 